Fortunato Abat, Wikipedia Audio Maj. Gen. Fortunato Abat was a Filipino Major General who served as the 20th Secretary of the Department of National Defense, Ambassador to the People's Republic of China, and Commanding General of the Philippine Army. Fortunato Abat was born on June 10 in San Juan, La Union. He studied in Singalong Elementary School in the city of Manila from 1932-39, then in Aralo High School 1939-41. His secondary education was abruptly halted by the Japanese invasion during World War II. As a young teenager, he entered the Philippine Army as an enlisted man on April 15. 1944 before the Allied liberation of the Philippines. He continued his secondary education in La Union High School even after World War II and completed his education in the year 1947. Abat entered the Philippine Military Academy right after finishing his high school diploma, and graduated in the class of 51, and was commissioned as second lieutenant in the Philippine Army. Along with 2nd Lt. Fidel V. Ramos, Abat joined the Philippine Expeditionary Forces to Korea, where he served with distinction under the United Nations flag. Early Years Abat's colorful military career brought him to become the Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations and Training of the 1st Infantry Division. Later on he became the senior armed forces attaché at the Philippine Embassy in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. He also was sent with the Philippine delegation to the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th meetings of CETO Intelligence Assessment Committee in Bangkok, Thailand. He also distinguished himself as commanding officer of the 3rd Infantry Brigade, and later on as the Commanding General of the 3rd Infantry Division, and Central Mindanao Command. Maj. Gen. Abat finally served as Commanding General of the Philippine Army from March 28, 1976 to March 28, 1981. Tragedy befell the family of Maj. Gen. Abat, when his son, 2LT. Tito B. Abat, died during an encounter with the New People's Army in eastern Samar, a year after graduating from the Philippine Military Academy. Immediately after his retirement from active military service, he joined the Ministry of Human Settlements. A few months later, he was named ambassador to the People's Republic of China where he served from May 1981 until after EDSA Revolution on April 1986. Upon his return from his ambassadorship in PROC, Abat was first appointed as the administrator of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office, a DND agency. Later on, he was named Under Secretary of National Defense during the term of Defense Secretary Rafael I. Lado. He also served as USND during the term of then Defense Secretary Fidel V. Ramos, but he left the department and was designated Deputy Director General to Secretary Rafael I. Lado, who later headed the National Security Council. During the presidency of Fidel Ramos, Abat was the chairman of the Peace Panel of the Philippine Government during the negotiations with the Moro National Liberation Front, which led to signing of a peace treaty on July 18, 1997, ending the three-decade-old armed hostilities between the Republic of the Philippines and the MILF. He also served as the 20th Secretary of the Department of National Defense from September 16. 1997 to June 30, 1998. During the height of the impeachment trial of President Joseph Estrada, Abad along with his colleagues in the Association of General and Flag Officers called for the resignation of the President through a manifesto. 
Avat finally was appointed as the president and CEO of the John Hay Poro Point Development Corp. by press. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Despite in retirement, Avat has continued to play a role in Philippine politics, without escaping controversy. Avat, who formed the National Coalition for Solidarity and the Movement for National Salvation called on for the resignation of press. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Military In December 2005, Avat was arrested after he called on the formation of a revolutionary government, of which he is the new president of the Philippines, and called on the resignation of press. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in view of the latter's allegations of corruption. On August 15, 2006, Avat called for the abolishment of the Philippine government and the Philippine constitution, and the creation of a transition government of discipline and authoritative governance where all the three branches of government are collectively responsible and accountable to the president that has oversight power over the discharge of their functions and responsibilities. Focus of Governance Governance is focused on the civil service and the military and police service. Later Life Awards and Distinctions